Edexcel, A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2019, Question 11. A competitor is running a 20 kilometre race. She runs each of the first four kilometres at a steady pace of six minutes per kilometre. After the first four kilometres, she begins to slow down. In order to estimate her finishing time, the time that she will take to complete each subsequent kilometre is modelled to be 5% greater than the time that she took to complete the previous kilometre. Using the model, we need to show that her time to run the first six kilometres is estimated to be 36 minutes, 55 seconds. So looking at what we've got already, we can work out that the fifth kilometre is going to be the six minutes increased by 5%. So six times 1.05 using our multiplier method. Kilometre six is 5% greater again. So that will be six times 1.05 squared. So our total time is going to be six times four for the first four kilometres plus the six times 1.05 plus six times 1.05 squared, which gives us 36.915 minutes. But we need this in minutes and seconds, so the quick way to do this is to take the decimal, 0.915, times that by 60, we get 55, so an answer of 36 minutes, 55 seconds as required. For part B, we need to show that her estimated time in minutes to run the half kilometre, or R between 5 and 20, is 6 times 1.05 to the power R minus 4. Well, let's look at the pattern. We know that kilometre five is six times 1.05 to the one. Kilometre six is six times 1.05 squared. Kilometre seven is six times 1.05 cubed. So we can quite quickly see from there that the power is always four lower than the kilometre. So kilometre r must be six times 1.05 to the r minus four. For part c, we need to estimate the total time in minutes and seconds that she will take to complete the race. So we know that the first four kilometers take six minutes each. So we've got four times six, 24. The rest of the race, we're gonna model as a geometric sequence. So we're gonna sum it from R is five, the first kilometer where her times start changing, up to R equals 20, the last kilometer of the race. And we find the sum of six times 1.05 r minus four, which is what we've just worked out in part B. As this is a geometric sequence, we need to know the first term. So the first term would be six times 1.05. We've got that by putting r is five into the expression, r minus four, to give us a power of one. So the first term is 6.3. So to sum it, now we do the first term, 6.3, times by the ratio to our highest power, so 20 minus 4 is 16, take away 1, all over the ratio, 1.05 minus 1, which gives us 149.04 minutes. So our total time is this added to the 24, so 173.04 minutes, but again we need to change this into minutes and seconds. So we take our 0 0.04 times it by 60, which gives us three seconds. So the answer is 173 minutes and three seconds. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.